What's up nerds? On the Fisher Cube, Barrel Cube, Twisty 3x3, Penrose Cube, and other 3x3 shape mods, you can get a case where only one of your last layer edges appears misoriented. The following algorithm will solve the case on all of these puzzles. Hold the puzzle with a misoriented edge on the right and perform the following algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U. Y rotation. L prime, U prime, L, U, L prime, U prime, L. Now, the misoriented edge is fixed and you can complete the solve with any 3x3 method you'd like. This algorithm is essentially a right-handed sexy move. The trigger R, U, R prime, U, the rotation to put the broken F2L pair on the left, and then two left-handed sexy moves. If you're curious why this parity occurs, here's the answer. Look at this 3x3. We are presented with the same scenario, but we know this isn't a possible OLL case. How did it happen? Well, this F2L edge is misoriented. It's obvious on a 3x3, but on the Fisher Cube and many other shape mods, you have no way of knowing because the middle layer edge is just a single solid color. This means an edge will appear solved, but is actually misoriented. So no, this isn't parody, but just two misoriented edges in disguise. It's big brain time. Let's do the alg and track this F2L pair to see why it works. R, U, R prime, U prime to remove the pair. R, U, R prime, U to separate the pair. A rotation to put the pair in the left slot. And then two left-handed sexy moves to resolve the F2L pair, meanwhile flipping that last layer edge you thought was the problem. There's a second alg you can use, and it goes like this. Hold the cube with the misoriented edge on the right, and use R, U, R prime, U2, R, U2, R prime, U, F prime, U prime, F, noise. Now you have a practical understanding of this common case and a strategy you can apply to all sorts of non-WCA puzzles. Hit the like button if you learned something new today, and please subscribe to help the channel grow. Later, nerds.